Hello, my name is Shetley and welcome back for another episode of E4 as the Knights. In previous episode, we managed to conquer a decent chunk of land in Greece. Of course, we are now neighboring Ottomans, which is very bad news for us. Although the Ottoman army is relatively small, we got 9,000 men. If we could get, say, the Naples and the Venetian troops to help us, that would be probably fine. Now, admittedly, we may need to start getting a bit more favors with the likes of Naples. To improve or you know be able to call them in into wars and all that Ooh, um i'm not gonna go for the nipples i'm just gonna get the 100 uh, admin points i mean getting a um card and all that would be nice but since we do not have uh catholic uh, areas in here yet anywhere it's kind of a waste admittedly okay we can recall the diplomat from papal states We've got a few options for alliance. Albania, well, Albania is still being sieged down, isn't it? Yeah, so Albania is going to be done soon. But who else was there? Ferrara, Silia, Ragusa, and Bosnia. Well, it's all around here. I mean, it's clear that it's going to be a lot of, uh, hopefully, allies against the Ottomans, but it's going to be a lot easier said than done. Now, I'm kind of hoping that so once they take, uh, I don't know, maybe April, oh, there we go, there goes Albania. So we did raid their coast. If we can keep the relations fine and we don't raid their coast anymore, then in theory... Oh, Epirus has announced me as rival. Okay. I mean, we did do that already, admittedly, so that's fine, I suppose. Actually, one of the things that I could do, I could just send an insult in there. Maybe even a scornful insult. But they don't really have any enemies, so that's kind of pointless. Oh, oh, did they change that? Okay, so they doesn't anymore give uh, from the non-scornful insult. Okay, that's fair enough. Well, Byzantium, I will insult you. Except that doesn't give any more either. Okay, so they must have changed that at some point. Ah, but that's fair enough, I suppose. It could be because we got truce with both of them. Oh, there we go. Venetians, we're fighting off a rebellion. So at least we got two strong allies and one distraction, as I like to call it. But we definitely do have room for one more. Oh, is the... Oh, the Ottomans are moving their troops eastward, so they might be going after... I don't know, Karaman, are they... They got a lot of claims on them, so Karaman is definitely an option for them. Jet attack. How much do they have troops? 35,000. Manpower reserves are basically zero, though, so at least they are a little bit reduced efficiency that way. I can't declare war emperors right now, but at least we got a bit of land. Ooh. Articularists. So the Ottomans are now having a bit of a rebellion mop up here. And that's good for me. Oh, we actually are getting some diplomatic score already. We've got fairly strong allies, I guess. Oh, right, that reminds me. We could increase the navy size. I think five um, transports is going to be enough. I'm just going to go ahead and increase the amount of galleys that we have. Because the galleys are going to be what is going to be making our life either very difficult or very easy here. How is the institution spreading? So we got 20.6% in roads. We did put in a bit of development in there, admittedly. In fact, what I might do is I just, I'm just going to increase the production there one and the manpower per one. So that's going to get us a, a decent bit faster spread there. Of course, that's also de uh, tied to the development. So yeah, that's quite an increase to, from what we had before. All right, another mission. Uh, we need to convert Athens to Catholic. Oh. Local mission and maintenance would go down. Okay, that would be quite nice. Um... More manpower or production? Oh, production in Maria. Oh, that might be a little bit cheaper. Plus, I believe that is a province that produces... Oh, yeah, it produces wine. Okay. It would still cost us a decent bit to do that stuff, of course. I think we're going to take the Athens conversion thing. So how long do we have the zeal in here? For 20 years. I mean, that's fine. If we just convert... The oh, right. It's the... There's... Rebellion is going to happen on one of these two. I'm not entirely sure which one. So I'm just going to go ahead and park my troops in here. And hope that it spawns on top of me here. Or if it's there, then at least we can attack it relatively easily. So how strong... Oh, we need another 15 influence to get the stability up again. So that's about three years. Maybe a little bit more than that. I suppose one of the things that I could do... Well, we did improve relations with Pope rather recently. I can't... In Increase that too much, unless I buy some more indulgences. That would cost us another five. No, um, twenty-three ducats. Okay, that's a, a bit more than I'm willing to spare right now. 
when you get up. Actually, I suppose uh, since we got a free diplomat, I might as well improve relations with uh, Castile in the meanwhile. If we want to get Malta, then we need to have good relations with them. Tyrannicum nobles. Oh, um, I just realized I could have uh, seed some land there. Uh, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to turn a blind eye. That does mean that the base tax goes down in current, but that means that it's going to be easier to convert. Then we're going to see some land. And now we've got 38%, so it's not quite enough to what we need to, we need it to be to get more of the points uh, for a month. But that's uh, at least a step closer now. So Ottomans are at peace. I mean, they got a bit of a deficit of manpower, admittedly, probably still. We've got 36,000 men, which is a lot more than what I can do. Ah, there we go. We can get another reform here. So I think we're going to go with the mission on the high seas. So that gives us Salem, uh, or National Salem modified plus 20%, Naval Force Limit plus 25%, Chance to Capture Enemy Ships plus 33%, and Marine Force Limit plus 10%. So we can start getting some Marines because those are going to be really handy on doing some landings around the Ottoman coast, capturing a port, then just, you know, sending a transport there, pick them up and go for somewhere completely different, assuming that we can get the naval supremacy over them. Of course, there's other good things. Uh, um, a mission of protection, that would give another missionary, and four defense, and prestige per development from missionary, plus uh, 0.2. That would be quite good. Then commercial mission, that would get another merchant and a bit more trade power. Balance mission is uh, more devotion and... Change national focus cooldown minus 10 years. And of course there's the high seas. The civilizer, we do not have exploration or expansion idea, so we can't get that one. But that would be a more settlers chance, a native uprising chance minus 50%. Uh, external mission, manpower recovery speed plus 10%. That can be quite handy as well. Internal mission would be tolerance through faith plus 2. I think we're going to go with the mission on the high seas. That's going to be the most useful for us right now because navy is going to be our primary focus right now. Of course, we are going to be increasing the size of our navy now. A decent bit. Oh, right. We could get another four ships. Huh. We'll get another two ships at least, so that's get us to total 17 boats. I think if we have 12 galleys with a decent admiral, we should be able to keep the Ottoman fleet somewhat at uh, check. And they got 28 ships right now, which is more than what we have. But how much of that is there? They got 13 transports there. They do have a heavy sh two heavy ships at least. So it's not completely problem-free, I suppose. Right, well, we are hopefully getting the rebellion springing underneath us soon, so we can get rid of that one, and, you know, the unrest is going to be reduced for a while. So we do have the Parthenon over here, because we need a lot of money to actually build this. But that would reduce the unrest and advisor cost. Oh, now that is quite tempting. Oh, it's born in Athens. What's the general? Three shock, that's quite shocking, actually. They will beat us there. We've got the numbers, and we've got fairly good tactics over them. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've got a lot more morale as well. There we go. That's one rebellion dealt with. So now there's Corinth and Maria. So I suppose we'll just get in here and put in the autonomous uh, rebel suppression. Now, we haven't really been drilling our army yet. That's something that we should be doing. But it's just uh, right now I want to make sure that the rebellions aren't going to cause any problems. I suppose once the rebel faction in Maria gets a, a bit higher, we'll activate the fort again. So at least uh, we will get a defensive bonus in there if we need to go there. I mean, let's be honest, we probably do need to go there eventually. So slowly increasing the fleet size, that's nice. Getting a bit of paper points, we probably actually go a bit faster speed. So it's uh, Ottomans, they're not at war right now. I don't suppose we've got any new ally options either. Not really. Luca is another one. Now, Savoy is not too bad, necessarily. It's a bit of a long distance, though. How much of our armies and all fleets do they have? they got 9,000 men and 10 ships, so it's actually not that much. What about Ferrara? 5,000 men and 11 ships, so that might actually be slightly better for us with the ships. I mean, the amount of armies is going to be a problem. We've got a truce with the... Well, with Epirus, which is actually going to expire fairly soon. That's uh, going to be expiring on November. So Tengliss is probably going to be expiring somewhere during October. Oh, Naxos being annexed. I mean, that gives the uh, Venetians a bit more control in here. I mean, they are at least a somewhat strong ally. So if uh, their troops, my troops, and uh, naval troops are uh, grouped together, 
We could take on some of the Ottoman troops. And of course, we got the naval advantage over them. Now, of course, uh, Venetians have a truce with them for another four years. I do wonder, like, if uh, the Ottomans are fighting against, say, Mamluks in a large war in the not too distant future. And then, depending on the situation, we could potentially do a war against them in here. I could maybe start taking a bit of Greece and try sort of um, grabbing a bit more land in here, essentially. Get slightly closer to Venice itself. Oh, right, so the rebel uprising in Maria is already 80%. I guess we'll activate the port now. We are losing a bit of cash. But I guess the next raiding... Well, it's actually going to be quite a few years away still. Oh, Truce of Epirus has finally ended. Good. Now, evidently, we're getting some of the conversions done in here. So once that is uh, completed, that should make life a lot easier. We need another 10 points. Oh. Oh, no. We lost Pokemania. The question is... Uh, you know what? We will uh, get our leader in charge now. Oh, four shock. Now, that's actually quite nice. And he should be fairly young leader as well. He's 48, so yeah, that's fairly young. Pretty good leader, though. Like, all the bonuses over here are pretty good. I mean, the ship durability plus 10% is going to be very handy against the Ottomans' fleets. And minus 5% tech cost is really nice. And trade efficiency plus 10% is also very nice. So overall, we're in a pretty good situation with our leader here. Although the stats could be a bit better, like the numbers, but that's about it. So I'm guessing we're about, well, about three years away from getting this stability up. So I believe once we convert a province, that should give us a bit more... Well, the conversion is only 42% done, so that's going to take a while still. That's also costing us quite a bit, actually. Ooh, actually, what I could do is I could put in the missionary strength stuff here. I probably should have done that ages ago. There we go, that should speed up the conversion quite nicely. Oh yeah, now it's 2.4% per month. Oh, Ottomans are now fighting against Crimea and Karaman. Okay. So yeah, they're conquering this area. I mean, that's to be expected. They'll probably get to Crimea as well fairly soon. We'll see how that goes for them. Okay, you are still doing the rebels' repression at least. Is that... Okay, it's now minus five on both of these. Because the other two provinces have no unrest for the time being. Now, admittedly, the devastation is still there fairly high. Although, well, over here, it's slowly reducing. This one's at least... Uh, oh, yeah, now that we've got the fort active. Now, we'll probably want to have a fort in Athens as well, because it's got a great uh, uh, project as well as a tr center of trade. Plus, it would uh, protect these islands here, if need be. So, we'll probably want to build it in there. It's not necessarily the best uh, terrain-wise, being farmlands and all that. So it's fairly easy to seize down if they've got a naval supremacy. But I guess that's, that's how it's going to have to be now. But there we go. We're getting the conversion at least slightly faster now. And I suppose we've got the favors now with Naples. So we're going to keep that as is. We can send in the diplomat to Papal States again. Hopefully improve the relations slightly further. It's not going to be a massive increase in there. All oh, right. Yeah, they travel to Venice. So that is why they don't like me as much. Oh dear. The Ottoman fleet is growing stronger. That's for sure. But at least our fleet is also increased. Ooh. Venice declared Ottomans' arrival. It is no longer considered Papal State's arrival. Oh, yes. There we go. It's just what we needed. Right, so I guess we got the relations with Pope already as good as they can be. So I'm still not entirely sure if I should try to ally Ferrara, for example, for at least to have another ally just in case. I think that is what I will do. We're going to have had two rebellions soon enough, most likely. Some separatists and more separatists. I have a feeling that we can probably deal with that soon enough. Oh, Venice is embrace Renaissance. Oh, yes, I'm going to improve relations with Ottomans and get a bit more middle points. Actually, that's really nice. So what was the mission right now? It was to convert Athens. Right, well, that's going to have to wait a little bit longer, although not too much. Oh, there's a first rebellion. That is in Maria. Luckily, we got the fort in there, so we should be able to get here and get the defensive bonus. And the enemy's got a bit of a lack of uh, infantry there already, so there we go. That's sorted. Now we're going to just get in here and just sit in there for now. I should keep it somewhat safe. Well, actually, it immediately spawned in. But luckily, our troops are ready there. Oh, and Venice and Papal States are rivals again. Of course they are. So I'm guessing Papal States uh, Alliance is not going to happen anytime soon. That's the relation with Castile. You can't really go much higher than that. Now, of course, if I could get a slightly better attitude or something, we might be able to do something with them. 
I think right now it is what it is. So how much are we getting people influence? We are gaining 3.6. So that's not quite enough for what we need. Still losing a bit of cash as well. But how long? I suppose we're, what, five years away? About five years away from getting the next uh, influx of cash. I guess we can uh, put uh, oh, the mothball, the port over there again. And I'm assuming a lot of this is just the reinforcement. Yeah, it's three ducats per month for reinforcements. I need an engineer available, so we could pay 12 ducats to get 40 military power. I guess that is what we'll do. But another thing that we should probably now do then is reduce the army maintenance a decent chunk. We're not going to have any rebellions springing up immediately. And also, now that we've got a lot of points, one of the things that we might have a look is how much do we need to still increase this development in here? Um... Probably a decent bit, of course. Uh, we do have the edict in here at least right now, so we could increase the development quite a bit. Uh, how close are we getting to? Oh, I suppose uh, we need to. Well, we don't have to, but we might want to get the Renaissance as soon as possible to speed up the researching of these. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to spend a bit of points. We'll start with the admin points a little bit at least, and then we'll also put in a decent bit. Well, you know, we'll get eight base tax there, and we'll get uh, that's twenty-five. Uh, Development total. We still need to get quite a bit more actually in here. Let's get it to 10 base tax. Now we've got 12 over there. Maybe we can put in a little bit of base production as well. So now we're getting half a point per month. So in about 20 months we should have this one pretty well sorted. So we'll get the renaissance in there. And also we increase the development in here in such a way that at least the province will now get a lot more tax income among other things. Actually we're just barely making a deficit now. Okay, we can recall the diplomat from Castile. That should be mostly fine. We can... Yeah, no, we can't ally them or anything. We could maybe try curry favours with them. Maybe make them like me a bit more. In the meanwhile, Epirus is still allied to Papal Sage, so that is at least one potential... Oh, we are actually making a tiny bit of money now. Well, well, well. Not much, but it's something. We could also select a naval doctrine, so for that, I think... Well, we don't really have the money right now. We basically bankrupt us. Well, not bankrupt, as we take all our money. So we're probably going to go with the galley combat ability. Now, it's going to be another 15% there. So at least our galleys will be fighting fairly well. But again, we don't have the money for it right now. So we'll wait. I think after the next uh, round of uh, coastal raiding, we might do that. I'm also going to go ahead and improve relations with Ottomans for now. If we're going to hold them off for a while, and while we try expanding elsewhere... Although the locations where we can expand towards are kind of limited at this stage. I mean, Mamluks is one option. But Mamluks is definitely not an easy option, mind you. But hey, we're about to get one of our missionary... Uh, ...completing the conversion over here in Maria. So that is going to allow us to start converting Athens, which is going to be another mission done. Well, that reminds me. Are we able to... No, we're not able to seize land quite yet. Although, next year... In August, we should be able to do that. Well, there we go. Now we've got the influence. So now we're going to finally get another stability. So we're at the plus two. Let's go ahead and start converting in here. So we are going to have a 2.3%. So it's slightly slower than the previous province. But it's okay. All right. Well, we improved the relations with the Ottomans as far as we can. Oh, right. We did uh, do a bit of a better relations with them. Influence in Korea has expired. Ah, right, so we're not getting quite as much influence. Yeah, it's only two points of influence now. I mean, it's decent enough, I guess. Not the best, mind you, but it's better than nothing. We do have four alliances going on already. So we can't really do... Well, I mean, we could try finding some better allies, of course. Especially the likes of Cyprus. We could probably get... Well, Cyprus is going to be difficult to actually conquer right now. Partially because they are guaranteed by the Mamluks. But of course, how strong is the Mamluk? It's 26 ships. Oh. Right, Danzig is a thing now. Oh, right, yeah, it's the Teutonic Order having the usual problems. As it's really difficult to... Well, especially since it's very random of where exactly they get their lands. It can sometimes be really handy. It can sometimes be really difficult to win that war. I remember in the Teutonic Order playthrough that I did quite some while back, I did manage to win that war. I had a really good general, though. I had, like, a six-shock general from the get-go. So that helped drastically fighting the war. And I managed to win the first uh, war against uh, Danzig and Poland and Lithuania. And after that, it was, uh, you know, a lot of fighting. But I did manage to get all the way from... Um, I 
think I had a decent chunk in northern Germany, but all the way to Beijing, and a constant or like continuous line of converted provinces as well. That was quite fun. Right, so we've got a bit of uh, inflation in here. It's not too bad though, and we've got a bit of. Uh, okay, we actually have a tiniest. Oh, one side of truce of Venetians has ended. Oh, because they ended the independence guarantee, didn't they? That's probably it. Now, who else could we maybe improve relations with? Someone that is close to allying us. Well, I suppose Hungary is not close, but we could still improve relations with them a bit further. Oh, Poland is fighting. Oh. Oh, Moldavia is a po Oh. Oh, right. There's a war against Austria-Hungary, Moldavia, and a few others. Yeah, so what is this war about? Polish conquerors, uh, ah, right, they declared war on uh, Moldavia, and I think then the event for Danzig happened, so now they're fighting two front wars, so actually, Teutonic Order might win that. Oh, wow, Ottomans are allied to Bohemia, of all things. We've got 29 ships and 40,000 men in the field. We have been increasing our fleet size a lot, but we can actually increase it even further. Now, I suppose one of the things that I could do is increase the transport capacity a little bit, or I could maybe build another light ship to begin with. Maybe we can get some uh, more devotion at the cost of prestige. I am actually going to take that because uh, having the devotion fairly high is going to give us a bit better stuff in here in the long run. We have managed to increase... Oh! Aha! Renaissance has appeared. Do we have... We do have the money to embrace it. You know what? I'm going to do that. As soon as we have that available, the cheaper is to do development. Byzantium and Emperors are no longer valid rivals. Do I have any available valid rivals then? Oh, right, and they're no longer considering me as a rival, I think is the case. Yeah, no, they're no longer valid rivals. Genoa is. Uh, who's Genoa allied to? Epirus and Luca. They got a decent fleet. An okay army size. It would be nice to get these provinces, though. We're currently losing a bit of cash, but I suppose... I suppose it might be time to rival Genoa, then. That might open up some new... Actually, who is their rivals? Uh, Crimea, Savoy, and Milan. So at this point, Savoy might actually be interested in allying us. Well, not really. But at least we eclipsed both Byzantium and Epirus. And are we... Ah, all right, we've got a large city now, so we are getting a bit more points in here. And I guess the... Actually, what is our capital terrain's pro... Oh, it's a coastline. Uh, so that's not going to be very useful for the extra defense bills. I mean, at least if we need to defend our capital, then that helps. The war tax cost is really nice, of course. And Crested Expansion Impact minus 10% is also quite useful. The Unrest Eater can be handy. And Colon Development Boost... Eh, well, we're not going to have colonies, so I guess that doesn't really help. Oh, the Ottomans are going to get the Leader Siege plus one, so that's going to be rough. But Byzantium is actually still alive. Uh, oh, I do have a claim there. Oh. Now, of course, it's uh, fairly large. Fortification and all that, so I would probably need... Actually... They don't have a fort there. It's only a capital fort. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. So, in theory, we don't have a truce with them anymore. No, actually, we do. For another year or so. So, in theory, we in Constantinople would... Block the Ottomans a lot, but of course, uh, holding on to that is going to be a lot easier said than done. But we do have the claim there. But then we need a lot more areas, of course, as well to form the Latin Empire. But I think we're going to go for the Jerusalem as our primary target in forming nations anyway. It looks like the missionary in Athens is doing a fairly good job. Still a decent bit of work to do, of course, but it's about 50% down. Oh, there's embargo. Alright, so we're trying to get a favor. Actually, we're not really gaining a lot of favors with Castile. So I'm going to switch that to Venice as soon as we can. Because I'm sure that Venice is someone that we could probably... Well, we've got 13 favors there right now, but if we can get a little bit more, that would be nice. Maybe improve their trust a little bit so they're more likely to help us. We've got a decent bit of land in here still as well. All right, so we've got that one trade ship. So now we're making a tiniest bit of money. Still rooting a bit of corruption, but that's alright. Once we get the missionary done in Athens, that should probably... Well, actually, I'm not entirely sure how much of an impact that is going to have. 
At least the devastation is still fairly high in there. Which hopefully is going to go down over time. Well, it is going down over time. It's just going to take a good moment. I mean, ooh. Ooh. Okay, that would be a lot of inflation. But at the same time, that would be quite a bit of uh, Diplo points. I'm going to say that we can, uh, if we go over two points, we'll reduce the inflation by that. Or if we get enough payable influence, which we're not really getting all that much yet. We've got 2.17. We've got okay devotion. I suppose that does help. Now the missionary in Athens is doing a fairly good job, all things considered. So how much are we making money? Getting 1.4 from trade, actually, that's not bad. 0.8 from production and 3 points from taxation. Both of Byzantium and Serbia have ended. So we could potentially do a war in here, but of course doing a landing in there is going to be impossible. Which is a problem. And I'm pretty sure the Ottomans will not give military access to Byzantium, I'd imagine. Actually, it's in the diplomatic opinion. Yeah, no, they do kind of want a lot of the... Oh, that's the other way around. Okay. Yeah, it's... Mon oh. 165 in the negatives. So once uh, Constantinople, that's 109 just from there. Border friction, historical rival. I have a claim now. Uh, Neighbouring different religion. So yeah, that's a pretty rough relations there. Unless I can get access from... Ottomans, probably not. Their hostile attitude will probably prevent that. That will not make the life easy there. At least we're getting uh, slightly better relations with Hungary. Now, I'm pretty sure that Hungary is also... It's actually not that far off. Oh, God. oh, they're vassal under Austria. Okay, so if I start improving relations with Austria instead... They will not take the alliance of or even if I tried. Cyprus has joined the trade league. Oh. All right, then. We're still allied, at least. they got quite a few nations in there now. Since, I guess, uh, Venice has started shifting their focus on the Drake League a bit more around Austria. Well, other than Cyprus, I suppose. Compared to what they were previously trying to do with us. And I think, well, I don't know, actually, if Ragusa... Ragusa is not part of anything. They're allied to Papal State and guaranteed by the Ottomans. For now. I'm sure that the Ottomans will break that uh, guarantee eventually. At least we're making the tiniest bit of cash. And the conversion of Athens is progressing. Fairly good speed. But I do see that we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, get the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.